Hey guys, this is Hell Hades free to play. Quite a lot of people are asking how have I beaten Dark Fey normal uh, normal Doom Tower, so kind of early stuff. But basically, I'm going to go through and show you my team, but also show you kind of my thinking around the team. And that's more important because you won't have the same champions as me, you won't have the same pool, but you just kind of need to understand the concept around how to beat Dark Fey. This is early level stuff, but a lot of you guys are early level, so let's get into it. So I don't know if you watched my video from earlier today. I did my Ancient Shard pool. I literally just picked up a Juicy Ancient from the market, which I thought I'd throw into this video as well. But let's, let's talk Dark Fey as soon as we test out our, our luck. So far, free-to-play luck has not been where it's at. Be gold. Be gold. Oh, man. Be a goat. Okay, it's not improved. The day's not got better. Anyway, Dark Fey. So what's, what are we doing? You basically want to combine... The thinking of an arena team with a turn meter control type of emphasis. So for the free to play, I'm only farming early stages. Yeah, I'm on level 40, Dark Fey, but I'm farming it full auto. And the gear that you get from Dark Fey is actually really strong. So, you know, if you think about Savage Gear, one of the best gear sets for damage in the game, Dark Fey drops lethal gear, which is 10% crit rate and basically the same effect as savage ignore 25 percent of enemy defense it's a four piece set so even the like three to four star stuff like it's not great you want four to five honestly and you probably want to be farming up higher than this but it's still better gear than most of the stuff you're going to get out of doom tower early on so for my team and and this is where ai tool comes in super super clutch i'm basically running a similar team to what i'd run in the arena increased speed into drop defense into a nuke yeah i've got seer in that team for control so i'm pretty much actually i go speed drop defense control nuke and then what that means is the people that i'm fighting which is in in essence it's me right i'm fighting myself uh, i'm actually getting some control on myself before i damage myself and that's that's the type of way you want to approach this champions that are really good here are champions like hikatoon actually Hikatoon would be better than my Apothecary here if my Hikatoon was in better gear. In fact, you'd throw Hikatoon as your lead for more speed. And then Hikatoon gives us that speed boost. She also puts a decreased speed on the Dark Fey once we start fighting the Dark Fey, which is a really, really strong debuff to land. So Hikatoon's really good. Deacon's good because when he does his turn meter growth, he also pushes back the equivalent of your team's turn meter. So it gives your team a better chance to get their damage away. Uh, someone like Lissandra does the same thing. Sylar does the same thing. Anyone who's kind of pushing you forward and pushing them back or anyone who's going to hard control your equivalent enemy team before they get a turn is a good way to start. And then once you've killed your equivalent enemy team, you then just want to turn me to control them into the dirt. So for higher levels, this is level 40. It's really easy level. For higher levels, I probably would have to take Venomage out or one of my champions out and put in someone like an Armaga which is how I originally did it on manual before I did this kind of full auto team. The AI tool is so good for this. It's such a good kind of setup. So basically what I'm telling the AI is don't use my big nuke at all from Gaelic. Gaelic, you don't use it until we get to the boss because you're going to nuke me. Yeah, you're going to nuke my team off the dirt, into the dirt, and then um, basically we can go straight into Dark Fey. Apothecary. I didn't, I didn't let you use your speed boost in the first round. Do not use it in the second round. I want it to open up with in the third round. Because the enemy team that you face have everything off cooldown. That's the difference. You don't have everything off cooldown unless you specifically tell it to be off cooldown. So we want this speed boost back by round three. Armina, round one, sure. Drop defense. Round two, do not use that skill because you're going to open with it in round three. Venomage, same sort of thing. My big skill... I don't use it until we get to um, to Lady Fay, And then Seer for me is the big one. So don't use your Karma Burn at any point because I really need that control when we get going. Okay, here we go. So we kind of get through the waves, as I said. It will, it will just be a, a straight kind of um, basic farm through the waves. You're going to lose a bit of health along the way, but you know, honestly, level 40, it's super easy stuff. Um, you should heal back up anything you've lost. First wave, job done. I'm not going to land a decreased defense here because remember we're saving it for the boss. Um, I'll probably show you my my main account's not but that far through hard Doom Tower at the moment because I've been doing a lot of test server stuff this week. But 
on my main account, I've got a ally attack champion that goes early and forces big AoE A1s through the equivalent of my team. So I just nuked my equivalent team down. And then I've got Allure and Lissandra basically as my turn meter control champ. So it's kind of a different version of the same thing, really. The control is just, I'm going to smack you into the ground. But certainly for this part, let's slow it down a minute. You'll see what happens here. So like an arena fight, I go speed up into drop defense. Before, and I'm speed tuned so that I will go. And then basically we had a little, little bit left from Venomage there. We then get our team moving into our main attacks. We will take some damage here. I probably will lose most of my team, but Venomage for me is built to survive. She's built to last. So, you know, if some if other people die, then it's not so bad. We can speed up again now. And really, if you're struggling, your best bet is to just bring another bit of turn meter control in. As long as you can kill your equivalent enemy team, it's just then can you stop Dark Fae from having loads of turns? Because Dark Fae is like a challenge yeah and you can see here my venom age is built a bit tankier that's why i didn't just completely nuke her from the first wave but full auto team pretty quick as well and hopefully you kind of get the grasp of what you need to do so yeah there you go dark fey free to play hope you can get a team going as well i will see you later